Maria Stefano. I was born and raised in Los Angeles. My mother was a flight attendant for Pan Am. She brought me back little cubes of lamb from New Zealand to share with me. My father and stepmother are physicians, healers. My mountains are the Santa Monica Mountains. My river is the Los Angeles River. <laughs> My mountains are sick. My river is dead, flowing through a concrete tomb to our shared Pacific Ocean. Our mountains and rivers are sick because our people are sick. Our people are sick because our organizations are sick. And I think that one of the biggest ways that we can help change the world is to change our organizations from within. I help heal organizations. My name is Chris Gagne, and I'd like to tell you a little story about a large company that I worked with. They had dozens of teams, dozens of projects, hundreds of people, and each team was in this interdependent matrix of being within an organization. But they were all incentivized to focus on their goal at the expense of everyone else. Their organization was in chaos because everybody was working at beyond their fullest capacity and getting nothing done and burning out and destroying their relationships with their families in the process. How many of you have lived this? Yeah. So in the midst of this chaos, I trained and coached a team that had to deliver the company's most important initiative. It cut across dozens of teams and hundreds of people. And uh, despite all odds, they shipped a quality product on time. And I am so deeply proud of them. We succeeded, but it was a tiny fraction of what was possible. We coached and trained them on a whole new way of working, on their tools and their processes, but we retained the dysfunctional structure of inter over interdependence and the culture of do everything all at once because it's all important. And so, if we had focused fully cross-functional, autonomous teams, we could have done twice the work in half the time with a tenth of the stress. Um, but we didn't have the ability to change this because leadership saw transformation as the team's work. They abdicated their responsibility and persisted the dysfunctional structure and culture that held back our teams. Leaders, I issue you this challenge. By all means, bring the agile and digital transformation to your organizations. But please understand that you must participate in these transformations more than anyone else. Agile is the human values of trust, transparency, and co-creation, and that starts with you. Edward Deming once said to a leader, if you can't come, send no one. What he meant by that was that leaders must transform their organizations by first transforming themselves. And so um, you cannot delegate this responsibility. Transformation is like a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. From the caterpillar's perspective, they are dying. And this is true. The old way must transform into liminal goo for the new way to take form. This might feel like chaos, but it's merely giving you visibility and the ability to react and respond to the chaos that you're already in. So this is a lot of work, but it's worth it. Does our planet have time for you to ignore this invitation? A well-oiled, complex organization of 30 can easily outperform a chaotic organization of 3,000. I have seen it. What could your organization do if it never had to compromise our people and our planet to deliver your results? My partner Chris and I have come to New Zealand, um, and we are wrapped in the chrysalis of the Edmund Hillary Fellowship and nurtured by the Tangata Fenua, the people of the land. And we accept this pr profound transformation ourselves, and we offer in return our knowledge, our skills, and our heart to help us all heal the world.
Kia ora.